How you guys doing? Chris Ignato here, and you know what? The weather today is just beautiful. You know, it's uh, low 70s and super comfortable. So I decided to go for a, a late walk and see what there is to find. There are coral and spindle fungi all over the place, but my favorite, the violet corals. Check this out. This is crown-tipped coral fungus. Looking at the tops of the branches, you can easily see how it got its name. They terminate in these perfect little crowns, and they're really cool looking. I usually call these yellow spindle corals, but they're more appropriately named golden spindles. And when I'm lucky, I find these throughout September and October in deciduous woodlands, but I'm always excited whenever I find them as if it's one of the first times I've seen it. You can easily see how they're related to coral fungus, pretty much in the, the club fungus group. Or should I say club? Like I said, there's also a lot of spindle corals. Of course, there's the golden spindles, but check this species out here. I'm not sure what this is. It's similar to the golden spindles, but it's a tannish brown color. Looks really neat. These are cool little plants, and when I say plant, I mean it. These are often mistaken for fungi or mushrooms, but they're not. This is actually a plant that's free of chloroplasts, and therefore it's lacking the green appearance of most plants. To me, it's kind of like the ghost of the plant world, and if you kind of tilt the nodding flower head up, it almost looks a bit like a rose. But they can sometimes be a little fragile. You don't want to break them. The two species I have around here are, of course, this one, the white Indian pipes, and then a pink variety, which is pretty cool because kind of like the heartwood of the plant, for lack of better words, is pinkish, and it kind of diffuses throughout the semi-transparent bark of the plant. I really like the Indian pipes, and although they're technically plants, I still include them in my mycology videos. I just found some black earth tongues, or black club fungus. These are fun. I see these a little bit more frequently than I do the violet corals, but these are still rare for me. Sometimes I find these in groups of, say, three or four, and other times I just see a solitary spindle sticking up from the ground. Now, this species has more of a diamond-shaped tip to it, and the other species has more of a spear shape to it. The wider portion towards the top is what produces the spores. Check this out. This is Clavaria zoangiri, also known as the violet coral or magenta corals, and they are really cool. This has to be my favorite species of coral fungus, and I almost never find them, despite the fact that they're fairly common. I've only ever seen them in deciduous woodlands, and maybe only once a year or so. Now, something I know about these violet corals is the fact that they have a lot of lectins in them. And I'm pretty sure lectins are proteins that bind carbohydrates to basically the surfaces of cells. And I don't remember, but I do recall reading at some point that the lectins are being researched for medical purposes, but I really can't remember why. It's hard to photograph and film it, especially because it's getting really dark. The storm's about to roll in, and hopefully I can get some good shots before it's too late. How about those violet corals? Definitely one of my favorite fungi out there, and being September, you know, in deciduous woodlands, you stand a decent chance of finding them after a day or two of rain, but you gotta be diligent and really look around. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a short one, but thanks for watching. I'm Chris Ignato, signing out.